guys, I'm Brian from SRC and today with me is Lorenzo from Actiga. Hello. So I've been searching around for a new dish tank for the studio. Um, I'm looking at about 3 feet 4 feet and I've been recommended to Actiga because they carry water box tanks. So before we talk about the water box tanks, can you tell us more about your company? Hmm, okay, so Actiga we started since last year, November. But only successfully bringing in uh, water box in around March, April. Which is why uh, what we see is over in our shop, uh, all these tanks only started six months ago. So water box uh, is the leading brand in Europe, US, Australia and New Zealand. Why are they leading? Because of the quality has been given to the customers. For the fish tank glasses, we are talking about Starfire glasses. Starfire glasses. Mm. Yeah. The Starfire Ultra Clear glass. Exactly. Yeah, so which is why we make a comparison between a Starfire glass, ultra clear glass and uh, crystal glass. You can actually still see the very much difference in it. Where crystal glass still has a blue and green, whereas uh, for this uh, water box, ultra clear glass is almost as clear as looking as compared to a uh, acrylic uh, kind of quality. So it contains very low iron content. Exactly. So. so for me personally, I see tanks that are made of sapphire, mm -hmm. one with a sapphire glass and one with a regular crystal glass. Mm -hmm. so even when they're placed side by side, right, when both tanks and Hellgate, I see the crystal tank, the one with the sapphire glass still super clear. Mm -hmm. This is from my own personal experience, so I, I'm really really very keen on the sapphire glass and that's why I'm here today. So apart from the sapphire glass and super ultra clarity that it has, um, what else is great about the water box tank? We have to talk about the silicon use. Silicon, yeah, okay. so they are using all high strength silicon. So for this we can actually give an extra confidence to all our customers that all these glasses uh, do not cause any leak. Ah, okay. So this is an issue that almost every fish keeper will be worried about. Yeah, as long as we get our floors wet, you all know that somebody in the house will make noise for it. Right? Yes, yeah. definitely. So definitely, um, high grade silicon, um, this is very important for us to make sure that uh, things like that don't happen and our lives are all safe. Yes. Anything else about the tank that we should think about? The cabinet actually walk over the oh. tank. Okay. Yeah. So what is the reason that causes it to walk? Is because while we are doing water changes, some may be careless by accident that the water will come into the cabinet. For material use, if that's it, it's actually very much of a chip off. Uh, oh, okay. Incorporate with plywood. Ah. That's where this uh, popping actually happens at the part where this chip off is at. It's not advisable to put near to places with water uh, because over the time it will start popping. This is very important because uh, under our fish tank the sucks, there is both heat as well as water, mm. and even more so with salt water. It's, it's, there's a very high chance to cause corrosion and warping due to the shifting temperatures uh, that's a long wood. So sure. if you use a cheap wood like you mentioned, um, different woods put together, they actually have very different uh, temperatures where they start warping at. Both of them are at this temperature, they react differently to the temperature. So it's quite important that the wood is very carefully and well made. So uh, marine plywood, yeah, I'm, I'm really keen on that as well. The dangerous views uh, is all soft clothing. Soft clothing, so, okay. yeah. If you were to quarrel with your partner, you don't worry that anyone will slam the door. Okay, this is just a joke. <laughs> yeah. uh, soft closing actually allow us to uh, ensure that when we are closing the door, we don't have to worry that there will be a slamping sound. Yeah, so this plays a part. The hinges that we use, uh, I mean by water box, is less chances of getting it rusty. I will not say 100%, but the chances of getting will be lesser, not because of the quality of the hinge because of the design of the sump tank. It doesn't have much water splashes. It's because of bad uh, design sump tank that causes water splashes and that's where the rust of oil intro comes in. Okay, mm. if you take a look at sump, uh, you'll find that it's of a certain type. Mm. Uh, that means there's a little more water volume than you put in. Mm. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, a lot better than uh, some of the other custom made tanks that I've seen myself. Mm. And uh, of course, since it's really designed well with all of us in mind, for us to just come and play, right? Exactly. Yeah. So we're gonna take a closer look. Sure. Okay, let's take a closer look at the tank. Okay. So two of us here are doing the Asian squad, but you know, let's go take a closer look at the marine plywood cabinet. So the right you said that firstly it's soft clothing, right? So soft clothing would mean that if I want to open this, I just exactly. Ah. Hey 
can look at the sum, it's really like at least half of the whole cabinet. So it's actually a very good volume for us to put water in. Yeah, true enough, it doesn't cause splashes. Um, you can see that the water is running and all. So I, I really like the size of this tank because uh, usually most of the 3D tank or the 4D tank they are a little bit skinnier. Yeah. But over here you can see a bit more uh, space, a bit more depth, which uh, allows me to place corals in different distances, which I think makes the whole tank look nicer. On top of that, or rather below that, it also means that my sump has more space for more water, for more equipment as well. Definitely. So there's a power reactor, there's a NIOS Quantum 160, mm -hmm. and uh, apparently I can also put a clarity inside, right? For sure. So how do I do that? Because I see that everything is set ready. Okay, so, so we will help you remove the glasses. So for this, uh, it's recommended for us to do it for you and not do it by yourself. Uh, because uh, we are all professional in uh, removing all the glasses. Then uh, we will help you do some modification onto this uh, overflow pipe. That's where your clarity can sit nicely. Ah, okay, okay. And, and you can see that the power reservoir mm -hmm. uh, is also quite deep. You mm -hmm. know, usually others will have like a separate container. Correct. Right. Put it outside. It's not sitting on top of the sun tank. Yeah, which so is those very those dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think this is great. I mean, they managed to squeeze in a good size power tank. Um, how long do I have to refill on average? How long do you refill this power tank? One and a half uh, week. Once? Once every one and a half week. Yeah. So, so of course it depends. 10 days for, for once. 10 days for once. But of course it depends on the temperature right. and everything, right? And then you're looking at the changes and all, I don't see any rust and you're saying that this tank has been here for like what, six, six months? months? Yeah. So six months, there's no rust and uh, also everything is still almost as good as new. It's fully covered from inside out. Mm. So unlike others uh, where it's only covered on the outside, where inside is another speaker's uh, but this is all fully covered with uh, lemons. It's really a very, uh, I mean, this is the first time I'm, I'm encountering water bombs, and uh, I really, really like the build quality, and uh, it's definitely something that I would like to consider for the new studio tank. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tanks, um, what are some of the sizes that you guys have? We have like uh, our tube tank, tube tank is a 10 gallon tank, 10 gallon tube 20, okay. 15 gallon, peninsula model, we have the mini 15, 15 gallon. Mini 35, which is 35 gallon, and the upcoming sizes will be the X model. So, okay. Marine X, we have X60, which is 2 feet, X90 will be uh, 3 feet, X120, right up to 4 feet for X model. And then back to this uh, Marine Reef, we will have the Reef 90, which is our 3 feet. The difference between Marine Reef and Marine X is on the Reef. When we are talking about uh, the X model, it's only like 50 cm. Whereas for the reef model is 60 cm, it's too big of So the 50 cm models are usually the ones that we see uh, that you know most of the frame makers, mm. all those um, all-in-one systems they usually come for a 50 cm tank. Mm. Right? But you have the extended, slightly extended yeah. version, which is this one, right? Correct. Yeah. So that is the marine reef. Mm. Okay. okay. And okay. uh, we have the marine reef 120, which is 4 feet, um. 150, 5 feet, and 160, which is the 6 feet. We do have the peninsula model. The peninsula model will be 3 feet, 4 feet, 5 feet, 6 feet. Yeah, for this uh, peninsula model. But I must say that we still have one more model that I did not venture, which is our Reef LX. The latest model ah. that incorporated with the aluminum profile cabinet. Okay. Yeah. So not only is the, the stand is actually aluminum profile, but it's all wrapped up with wooden cabinet. So this tank is even wider. That is uh, 2.5 feet wide. So they started from 4 feet, 5 feet, 6 feet, uh -huh. and 7 feet. Yeah, so we know we do have stocks for 4 and 6 feet. Okay, as of now they still have stock, okay, mm -hmm. but uh, from what I'm hearing and from what I know, um, they have a lot of tanks that move out every single day. Exactly. So, you know, do place your orders early and in advance. What other equipment can I buy? How can you do? For likes, you can actually make it as a comparison between AI or Radeon. Okay. Because all these will actually have you. Uh, to have a little bit more budget for other equipments as well as your weight maker. So for our set over here, we are using 2 times XR50 and paired with 2 times MP40 as our weight maker. <coughs> and yeah, and not to forget that we actually have our NIOS 160 system. NIOS 160, okay. Okay, and as well as a top reactor that we run bacteria for the day. Most important is the first main thing that we need for a tank will be the return path. 
So the return farm we will be looking at to put that S2 for this tank okay. is more than enough for the lights. Uh, probably you can share me a little bit of your budget. Uh, so I'm only gonna keep mostly LPS. Maybe okay. I'm gonna try a little bit of SPS. Mm. Really on the rate, I heard so many good reviews. Mm. I don't need to hear. I can see a lot of great results with Radeon. Mm. But are there any other options that you can consider? You can actually consider AI. Okay. And you can get the 32 uh, hybrid 32. Okay. And probably just two set of it will be good enough. Uh, same placement as what you see for the mm. sound is then. Since you're getting the Hydra 32, the wave maker you can pair it up with uh, this Neo 5. Mm. The okay. AI Neo 5. Also a very good wave maker okay. that uh, has a very wide spread on the on the wave, and yeah, you can actually control it together with the AI uh, X as well. AI Neo Five Hydra Thirty Two HD S Two, right? Mm. S Two return pump. Mm -hmm. What about the schema? Schema definitely getting a good tank definitely have to pair with good equipment. So the schema that we recommend will be a uh, our Quantum One Sixty. Quantum One Sixty. Mm. Okay, not the One Thirty. Not about 120. 120 probably for the Marine X model or smaller. Motor volume smaller, you use a smaller steamer. Mm -hmm. Whereas for this tank with a 2 feet wide, uh, recommended for at least a 160. 160, mm -hmm. okay, so the Marine X Quantum 160. What are the minimum modes that you have? We accept cash, cash is king. Then of course we accept PayNow, pay uh, bank transfer. If I think some people are looking for credit card installment, that's right, the credit card we do have as well. For credit card, if you are using DBS or QS credit card, we actually allow our customers to enter up to 6 or 12 months of installment. So, not to worry if let's say your setup is a little bit uh, off your budget. If you can actually uh, use a credit card, you can actually ease your pockets and as well as uh, enjoy a very beautiful. I'm sure all of you have the money to do it, but you know, after yeah. you spend already, right? For no money, you buy fish, no money, you buy power, no money, you buy power, right? Oh, enough, yeah. But of course, manage your money properly, you know, credit card installments are great, and uh, that's some typical way to get us started with a solid system mm -hmm. so you don't have too many uh, heartaches along the way. Yeah. Alright, okay, so I'm gonna place an order. Boom. Okay, so uh, stay tuned on the next episode where I'm gonna show you what exactly I got.